After a long march toward electrification, and of course a sudden shift away from diesel, <clears throat> Volkswagen finally revealed the 2021 ID4 crossover, the brand's first long-range electric vehicle. Taking a page from the ID3 hatchback, which won't come to the US market, the ID4 is based on the company's MEB platform and it will compete with the Chevy Bolt, Hyundai Kona EV, and Kia Niro EV in the electric crossover segment. It will be here in the first quarter of next year, but we've been getting antsy waiting for the ID4, so let's take a closer look. Now, because of this car's importance, we should probably talk about range and performance before we talk looks. The 2021 ID4 will come standard with an 82 kilowatt hour battery, which according to Volkswagen will be good for 250 miles of range. And a quick apples to apples test that's worse than the Chevy Bolt's 259 miles and also the Kona's 258 miles, but it's better than the Nero's 239 miles and if you wanna throw it in there, the Nissan Leaf's 226. Power is also adequate for the class, with the ID's single rear-mounted motor producing 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque. However, we know that more is on the way. In just a few months, a dual motor setup is coming with 302 horsepower and quite a bit more torque. Volkswagen hasn't told us yet, but we're expecting around 325 pound-feet. And more importantly, that model will offer all-wheel drive. But after months and months of teasing, this is our first complete look at the ID4, so let's talk about its cute but rugged design. Volkswagen is of course betting that the 4's more outward crossover appearance will attract buyers, with thin body cladding along the side profile and a neat looking two-tone paint scheme. The headlights communicate Volkswagen design cues, but they're definitely a step forward, with the running signature completely surrounding the headlight itself. Apart from the actually functional radiator intake at the bottom of the front fascia, there are few fake vents up there for good measure. Sure, why not? But come around to the back because that's weirdly the best angle. There's a very in vogue singular tail light bar that stretches across the hatch with nice detailing in the light signature and a loud and proud ID4 badge placed in the middle of the rear hatch. Which is good because nobody is going to know what this car is during the first part of its life. If the exterior cuteness doesn't get you, maybe the ID4's interior will. Although we've seen more screen real estate from other VW products lately, the ID makes use of a 5.3 inch digital instrument cluster that can display simple functions, mostly related to the battery state of charge. Then there's either a standard 10 inch or, as you see here, an optional 12 inch center screen that looks a lot more modern. Volkswagen is including standard navigation and touch-free gesture control to make things a little more compelling. The whole dash setup is very golf adjacent, just with some different flavor to help accommodate the ID4's individual personality in Volkswagen's lineup. Same goes for the rest of the cabin, where the overarching theme is minimalism. The center console is huge with tons of extra storage thanks to the lack of transmission gear in the way, with wireless device charging available as well. In favor of the ID3 hatchback, Volkswagen brought the ID4 for the American market for one reason, space, and there's a lot of it. Behind the second row, there's 30.3 cubic feet of cargo, which jumps to 64.2 with the rear bench folded. That's a favorable amount of room, which is better than any of the ID's immediate competition. And aside from the cargo hold, the rest of the interior is filled with space for people to stretch out, which just might persuade families that are looking to go all electric. Arriving early next year, the ID4 will start at $39,995, though to sweeten the deal, Volkswagen is offering three years of unlimited charging at Electrify America stations nationwide. The car pictured in this footage is a first edition model, which will run $43,995. And remember that all-wheel drive model with the dual motor setup? Well, that one will start at $43,695, with prices going up from there. However, every ID4 variant qualifies for a $7,500 federal tax credit before you add in any other potential savings. You can reserve one starting today for $100, which is refundable. Thanks for joining us for this first look at the 2021 Volkswagen ID4.